Hello. I have a confession to make. I find traditional Dutch birthday parties quite boring. I'm sorry. So, when my birthday came up, I decided to do it a little different this year. I'm gonna celebrate my birthday in a country that doesn't exist. I'm gonna take you to Transnistria, a country that you might have never heard of. A country where they like tanks and communism. A country that idolizes Lenin. And a country that may or may not be ran by the Mafia. <laughs> Sounds like the perfect party place to me. So, in 1990, the year that I was born, there was a revolutionary war in Moldova, one of the former Soviet states. In this war, aided by the Russian army, Transnistria, or as the locals like to call it, Prednistrovia, liberated itself as its own country. However, since then, the rest of the world has not recognized it as its own country. All the while, they have their own flag and national anthem, they have their own passports and their own plastic money. They literally have plastic money. To get to Transnistria I took a bus that for some reason was also transporting a lot of empty water bottles. A lot of empty water bottles. The bus takes you to a border where it's strictly forbidden to film. But you know, I don't like rules. Huh? After border check the bus takes you to Tiraspol, the capital of the country. Let me take you for a little tour of their vibrant city. They have a train station, a town hall, including a Lenin statue. They have a hospital, a mall, there's the opera house, a tourist information center, and that's about it. Oh, did I already tell you they like statues of Lenin and his friends? So, with that out of the way, it was time to plan my party and invite some random people from Transnistria. So apparently there is a huge park here, and this might be a good place to throw my party. Well, that's what I thought, until this guy told me it's illegal to drink in the park. No go. They had a sweet dog show going on though. Oh, and this dude told me he'd come to my party. I will come. So, I had to come up with a plan B, but since it started raining like crazy and bars left and right refusing my request, I have to admit I was close to giving up. Until this happened. We found a place to host a birthday party. Um, now all we need is to decorate and I need to find guests. Um, that's gonna be important because without guests... Okay, so it's looking good. Um, let's go find a cake. All right, I found myself a nice little Soviet cake. Um, let's get the party started. So, for a legendary birthday party you need a birthday cake, party hats, a party popper, these things that make a lot of noise, and balloons, lots of balloons. Oh. oh yes, of course. Now what a suit was a birthday party the likes Transnistria has never seen. Some, some, but some, but great presents. <laughs> there weren't that many people, but the people that came were awesome. I mean, it takes a proper legend to go to a random Dutch dude's birthday party. <laughs> Stories were shared, laughter was heard, and the drinks were flowing. I had never seen these people in my life, but I couldn't have wished for better company on my 29th birthday. Who's counting? Three, two, one! I have to say, I had a blast. So, the first day of my year was definitely spent outside of my comfort zone. And I couldn't be more happy I did it. 